once again i say good morning good afternoon good evening and to some of you good night depending on your time zone i remain george onyebi and of course from our board delta state as always we will keep on drawing your attention to issues of utmost importance as it concerns us as a people because a lot is at stake and we cannot avoid to ignore the signs that are all around us but of course at the moment of the pasture of these messages or information we we'll perfectly understand that not everyone will be able to comprehend the truth behind our message but not to worry it's just a matter of time you will appreciate the role we are playing in a time like this. Like I said, I'll be coming up to highlight on certain issues as regards us as a people. Make no mistake about that. It's not about Nanda Kano. It's not about Uchu Kafo Mefo. It's not about George Onibi or any other person. It's about us as a people. I thank the Almighty Creator who has kept us to this very moment and it is a sure evidence that we are here for a genuine purpose this morning i want us to address trending issue regarding nandekano number one and then ninayanya and a whole lot of others as it consigns our discussion this morning Let's look at the Nandekano first. It will be very detrimental if we as a people will allow the foolishness and the ego of one man to destroy this nation, Biafra, to destroy Igbo land. That will be the height of foolishness. And now, on the Nandekano, first of all, when he was arrested in Kenya, not all of you want to find out what he's doing in Kenya. Somewhere along the line, they have to blackmail his brother, Kanonta, that is building a million dollar house in Kenya. And then we begin to wonder why is Nelly Ufugu the one sending millions of Naira dollars rather to Kenya. But we know, now the Kanon has billions of investment around the world. One of them is in Kenya. The world we know at the right time. Freedom fighting money. The saga continued to go to and fro. And in all these atrocities, heinous crime against the people, Nandekano to this moment have been able to shield himself with his mugus. He's the one committing the crime. He's the one behind the sin. In fact, he's the man in the iron max. You never see him anywhere, except when he turned to pose as a savior. But when you look deep down, he's responsible for all the atrocity going on currently in the southeast. Ibu land to be precise, Biafra land. And so when he was arrested, they started him unconditional release, international orientation, and so on and so forth. They pushed for political solution. It didn't work. They push and threaten. If you touch our leader, we will kill you. We will destroy you. And Nanda Kano is still in DSS custody the last time I checked. I think another press communique came from his junior brother. Emma Powerful. He's telling Nigeria, if anything happened to Nanda Kano, we will do like this. Let me tell you. Nanda Kano is not sick. Nanda Kano is only trying to draw attention sympathy so he is sick oh now the can is sick they must release him he need access to a doctor are they releasing him now that we are not fighting for biafra again if they release him unconditionally will that stop the agitation the issue of restructure the issue of bill of right the issue of resource control the issue of devolution of power the issue of constitutional amendment address plebiscite referendum will it stop it? 
A genuine freedom fighter don't cry for his release. The mandate remains the mandate. By now, IPOB members, if they are not under illicit drugs, supposed to understand that there is no other language that is acceptable now other than what we ask for. But look at the social media. They want the world to begin to ask, oh, now they can't you see, give him access to, is that how Nelson Mandela cry? He is sick, he is hungry, he has to more cause her, he has to release him unconditionally. Are you telling me he's no longer on the path of justice? Because the last time I checked, it is our right to self-determination. Why are we not singing, take him to court, look into his case? Why are we not pushing for his case to be reviewed? And eventually we will win this case. And then we'll come back home. But no. Now they cannot have compromised the process and betrayed every genuine Igbo man who have stood by him. And somewhere along the line, he's going to use Nigeria as a shield against his people. This is not the first time it is happening and this will not be the last. But we pray we will be able to find our way home before it is too late. And so in the midst of the atrocity, the only thing 